a dissected because it doesn't work that way. Revelations come when we get down to pray and seek the face of God. Amen? Mm. Come on. Lord. Hallelujah. The foretelling of future events was not a necessity, but only an incidental part of the prophetic office. Now, a lot of times people say prophets are like fortune tellers. They'll tell you the future and everything. That's not necessarily the case sometimes. Hallelujah. They're there to deliver an on-time word from God. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Because it's not necessary for a prophet to see in the future as much as it is to speak forth what thus saith the Lord says. Amen. Hallelujah. The prophet is set in order of the ministries as second only to the apostle. You say, uh-oh. Basically, hallelujah, the job of an apostle is a church planner. They set the church in order and get it running. Then comes the prophet with the words of edification to the people. Amen? Come on. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27 and 28, Now ye are the body of Christ, and members in particular. And God has set some in the church, first apostles, secondary prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Amen? Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 and 12 declares, And he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and some teachers. For the, now listen to this. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Everybody's got a job to do here. Amen to God. Amen. See, we're not all prophets and we're not all pastors and we're not all evangelists and teachers and singers and this, but we've all got a job and a place in the kingdom and in the body. Praise God for Jesus is the head and we are the body. We're many members. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Don't think it's always the preacher that's got to do everything that's always got to give you the word. Praise God. Brother Rodney could give me a word tonight from the Lord. Amen yeah, to God. Yeah. You don't have to be some high-minded, high slick-haired, back, shiny shoes preacher. Amen to God to give a word. Glory to God. I'm so sick and tired of that. When all you got to do is get down and pray and listen to the voice of the Lord. Amen. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. And you can get a word for somebody who's weary, who needs that in due season. And right now is a due season for somebody. Come on. Somebody's on the verge of suicide right now and they need a word. Yeah. They're on the verge, praise God, of divorce. And they need a word. Praise God. Not a word that's going to benefit the preacher. They need a word. Amen to God. A word that's going to make a change and a difference. I'm all. It's time to see change in the body of Christ. It's time we get real with this thing. Everybody fighting amongst themselves in the body of Christ or who wants to be the head of the church or who wants to run things or who wants to do this and do that. Let Jesus be the head of it all. I'm all. My Lord, I thought somebody would say amen with me. Amen. Hallelujah to God. We've got deacon boards fighting over amen to God where finances got to go. Amen to God. we got pastors getting mad because somebody's going to steal their thunder. Praise God, baby. If somebody's going to steal your thunder, get out of the house. Amen to God. Let Jesus get the glory. Come on. Amen. amen. Woo! I don't know where this is coming from, but amen to God. i got to preach it right. Amen to God. Spit the sword if it takes it. Glory to God. See, Jesus was a great prophet in the Word of God. Amen to God. Still is today. He is the great prophet of the church, speaking words of life and encouragement over a dead body, trying to get us back in order. Somebody said, well, I don't like that. That ain't the way we're supposed to do things. Honey, praise God, if you read the Word of God, hallelujah to God, you need a Word from God. The Word of God changes things. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you preach the truth according to the Word of God, and I'm going to get on this, I think we ought to stay with the King James Bible instead of running off the old perverted versions. Come on. Somebody said, well, everything's in there for a reason. They run it for this and that. Let me tell you something. The devil comes as an angel of light, amen to God, to deceive you, amen to God. And if you ain't careful, praise God, he'll drag you into hell. Woo! Glory to 
power to God. My goodness. Amen, Brother Mike. Hallelujah. I don't know, man. I, this might be hitting hard tonight. I don't know. But i got to preach it right. Glory to God. The Bible says in Proverbs 15, verses 23 through 24, A man hath joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken in due season. How good is it? Come on. Mm. The way of life is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath. A good word spoken, praise God, can keep you out of hell if it's the right word from God. Amen, Amen. to God. Amen to God. Praise God. There's somebody out here tonight, may not be in this service, may be out there through internet radio, who's hearing this message and needs a word that's going to change your life. Don't puff up and get mad at me, praise God, because of me preaching the Word of God. Get over it. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. <coughs> Glory to God. Proverbs 25, 11, A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pictures of silver. Yeah. You see how a timely word can make a difference? My goodness. Amen. Listen to what, the, what David said right here in Psalm 45, 1. My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Oh, my Lord. I don't know if that got y'all. What David was saying here is, amen to God, hallelujah, that the tongue is a pen. Yeah. It's getting ready to pour out a blessing in somebody's life. Amen to God. Hallelujah, because out of your heart, praise God. Let me read this text of Scripture. Luke 6, 45. This is a good man out of the good treasure of his heart, bringing forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart, bringing forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. Come on. If you got Jesus in your heart, you're going to speak right, amen, to God. Hallelujah. Put that up, amen, to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'll tell you right now, people get too diverted with things in the house of God. You need to hear the Word of God. Praise God. If you ain't got Jesus in your heart, amen, to God, corruption and garbage is going to come out. But if you got Jesus in there, good things are going to start flowing out. Amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. A word in due season for somebody that's weary. Glory to God. And that's what we need today, church. We don't need no more points in a poem. We don't need no more fancy singers and songwriters. We need thus saith the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Do you remember, praise God, when Nathan the prophet went to David? Yeah. When David was done, done that with Bathsheba? Yeah, about the lamb. Mm-hmm. Told him a story about the man taking the lamb. Yeah. The only lamb he had, I believe it was. Yeah. David said that man, what was it? He needed to be killed. He'd be killed, yeah. Nathan the prophet said, Thou art the man. Amen. He delivered a timely word to David because David was on his way to hell. Come on. Thou art the man, David. And we see David got right with God. Mm -hmm. A complete restoration to David. Hallelujah. Thank God for Nathan the prophet they delivered that all time word. Yeah. Hallelujah Come to God. On. Because we need to do what the Lord tells us. It may not be popular. It may get us yelled at or looked at funny. Come but on. can you imagine Nathan? No. I'm sure going to King David. Yeah. To the king that could have had him knocked off like that. Oh, yeah. All David had to do was say, Behead it. Yeah. But Nathan knew that he had to obey yeah. the yeah. Lord. Yeah. He knew he had to obey what the Lord told him to do. Amen. Nathan said, Thou art the man. Hallelujah. Tonight, Thou art the man. Thou art the woman. You need to hear this evangelist. Amen to God. Thou art the man. Thou art the woman. Praise God. Who needs to get right with Jesus. It's your time. You're not promised to tomorrow. Amen. Today. Today may be the only day you have left to make it right. Amen. Quit procrastinate because procrastination is a sin. Come on. Woo! Glory to God. Is this all right? Yeah, come on. My goodness. Joseph. Remember the story of Joseph? He was sent to Pharaoh. Told him the interpretation of the dream that he had. Which allowed Egypt to store up food for 